On Further Reflection contains scenes of violence, coarse language, reference to drug use, and sexual situations that some listeners may find disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. So, what exactly was this place used for? Uh, it was some old hydroelectric dam. Used to power old Portheim before most of the population moved further inland. And it's abandoned? Don't worry, Astrid. It's completely safe. A lot of people have gone down there. I'm not worried. I just don't really see the interest in going. It's history, sis! And? Listen, you'll understand when you see it. Just the way nature completely overtakes the buildings. It's beautiful. Sure. You know what else is beautiful? The new Lucenris game that I could be playing right now. <laughs> you can play your game when we get home. In the meantime, we are going to enjoy a little bit of nature. You sound like Mom. <laughs> Good. Mom is an intelligent woman, so I consider that a compliment. How far are you in Lucenis? Oh, I beat the second trial. Hey, nice! I just finished the fourth one myself. No way! How did you reach the treasure chest that's up on the ledge in the fire trial? Oh, that, that was really easy. Yeah, okay, so you see, you have to get the lava to flow uh, over sorry to Sorry to interrupt, gamers, but we're almost there. Really? Uh, how? There's nothing but trees around here. <sighs> did you think there would just be a driveway all the way to the powerhouse? Well, people did work there, right? How'd they get there? Huh, uh, I guess maybe there used to be a road. According to the Urbex website I found this place on, there is still a road. In fact, uh, a lot of the hike will be on pavement. Uh, we just need to get over the ridge first. So much for enjoying nature. Hey, if the hike is anything like the photos I saw, it will be great. Trust me. I... I guess... Oh! I love this song! Turn it up! Oh, this is that Ben guy, right? He's a Bordheim local, you know. Really? Do you think I can meet him while we're here? <laughs> Why? You got a crush on him? What? What? No! Definitely not. I just like his music. Sure. It's true. He's got a really nice voice. I doubt he'd appreciate random strangers showing up at his house, but we can always see if he's playing locally. Meeting Ben Rogerson would make this whole stupid trip worth it. Oh, come on now. Surely spending quality time with your sister and I is worth something. You tell me how to get that treasure chest, and maybe I won't consider this a complete waste of time. <laughs> <sighs> okay, this is as far as we can go by car. We'll be going on foot the rest of the way there. Okay, everyone got their sunscreen on? Yep. Astrid. I don't need it. Astrid. Put on your sunscreen. We aren't getting out of this car until you do. You promise? Put it on, sis. <sighs> Fine. Happy. Yep. Oh, let's see. Uh, water. Mm -hmm. Snacks. Air yeah, mace. Emergency blankets. Knife. Uh, Clearing lighter. Okay. Uh, I think we're good to go. I've got the TP, sanitizer, and rechargeable batteries for our phones. All right. Perfect. Let's get on with it. Yay! Can't wait. A shadow lies. A name.
Uh, the start of the trail should be just past this bridge. Are you kidding me? This bridge. It looks like we'll break if a leaf falls on it. There's absolutely no way it will support our weight. Uh, it's fine. Just avoid the holes. I'll go first, and you can follow behind me. Uh, Christy, maybe I should go first. It's fine, Jackson. I'll be careful. Uh, okay. You cannot be serious. Is this what you two do? What do you mean? This is dangerous, Christy. I would have been safer staying at home alone all weekend. You heard what Mom said. No way I was going to leave you alone so you could throw a party. I wasn't going to. You're a 17-year-old. Of course you were going to have a party. Maybe you would have. But I honestly would have just stayed home alone and played looserness. I actually believe that. Jackson. What? It's a good game. Especially if she's in the fire trial. I don't want to hear another word about this Lucernus game, okay? Yes, ma'am. Because you hate everything I like. Oh, you know that's not it, sis. I just... <sighs> we really haven't seen each other all year, and I, I want to spend time catching up with you. You're the one who ditched me and Mom. Going to university isn't ditching you and Mom. Yeah. Well, while you went off to university, I basically just went to school and played video games. There. You're all caught up. Okay, well, why don't we talk about all this after we cross this bridge, eh? Uh, right. Uh, um, Astrid, make sure you copy my steps exactly, okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay, this path is safe. I could see more of the river than I can the bridge. You just watched me walk over here. It's fine. Want me to hold your hand? Huh? <laughs> or a piggyback? Uh, I can do it! Okay, when you put your foot down, just test the wood before shifting your weight. If it feels like the wood might break, then try a different spot. Right. See? You made it! That wasn't so bad. I'll make an urban explorer out of you yet! Don't get ahead of yourself. Jackson, what do you think you're doing? I can make it. Oh, don't you dare even think about jumping over the bridge! I've jumped further. Yeah, but that wasn't over a raging river! Not to mention we are hours away from the nearest hospital! If you get hurt... Oh, I... Fine. I think you could have done it. Oh, I know I could have. But thanks for believing in me, Astrid. <sighs> you two are going to be the death of me. Says the woman who made me climb a mountain to see an old decommissioned lighthouse. <laughs> Come on, let's keep moving. We've got a lot of ground to cover, and we're already behind schedule because someone had to do their hair and makeup this morning. What if we aren't the only people dumb enough to be doing this trail? This could be the day I meet my soulmate, and I refuse to look like I just rolled out of bed. You know, like how you look right now, sis. You really think your soulmate would be a hiker? <laughs> You're more likely to meet your future partner at the gaming expo next month. Yeah, well, maybe they also have an older sibling who drags them into the middle of nowhere because no one trusts them too. It's not like we don't have a reason to be nervous leaving you home alone. I told you. I only invited a couple of friends over. I had no idea they were going to bring the rest of the class. Hey, people make mistakes. It's how we learn. Right, Christy? I suppose so. So let's just put all that behind us and enjoy this hike, yeah? Yeah. Okay. <sighs> I guess I can try to have that. Great. So, according to the instructions online, we go around that bend and there will be a railroad track. We follow that for about a mile, then there should be a path through the trees that will lead us to the road. A mile? How long is that? Mm, should be about a 20 or 30 minute walk at most. Depends on how quickly you can move in those little sneakers of yours. What's wrong with my shoes? Uh, for starters, no ankle support. She told me she had hiking shoes, so I assumed she meant boots. Otherwise, I would have taken her out to get proper shoes. These are what I wear when I'm walking places. Hiking is very different from walking. How was I supposed to know? 
I don't hike. If your feet start to hurt, let me know, okay? I will. You know, when you said railroad tracks, I was thinking they'd also be abandoned, but these look like they're still being used. Oh, they are. But there shouldn't be any trains on the weekend. Are we allowed to be here? Uh, technically, no. But like Jackson said, nothing runs along here today, so it's fine. Is it? Are you making me commit a crime right now, sis? Uh, <laughs> of course not. <laughs> it's sort of a gray area. I'm telling Mom you turned me into a criminal. You do, and I'll tell Mom about the stash of edibles under your bed. You wouldn't dare. Try me. How do you even know about that anyways? You go through my stuff. Oh, chill. I saw you putting them away last night. If you don't want people to see, you should close your door. It's for headaches, okay? Hey, you don't have to explain anything to me. <laughs> it's not like I didn't have my own stash when I was your age. You did? You told me you've never tried it. Oh, um, I, I mean, I I've never tried smoking it. <laughs> oh, come on, don't look at me like that. Like what? Like you've just heard the worst news in your life? You know my feelings on that matter. I know, Jackson. And that's why I don't do it anymore. Am I missing something? Uh, nah. It's nothing important. Hey, wanna race to the end of the railroad tracks? What? You want me to sprint a mile? <laughs> don't you think you can do it? I know I can't. Come on. You can think of it as Lucianus training. <laughs> Learn how to be a real-life hero. Yeah, no thanks. I would rather just play a hero. All right, have it your way. Christy, what about you? Absolutely not, but knock yourself out. <sighs> okay, walking it is. Uh, this is the worst. The offer for a piggyback still stands. I'm not four years old. I know, but we've still got a long way to go. <sighs> Why don't we take a break? Get out of the sun for a bit. Yeah, good idea. The lake is right beyond those trees. Uh, we can go down there and cool off for a bit. There's a lake? You didn't notice? No. I was too busy looking at the tracks to make sure I didn't trip. You're missing all the best stuff keeping your head down like that. Come on, let's go check out the lake. Okay. Glorious shade. See, weren't you glad you put on sunscreen? You'd be a tomato right now if you hadn't. Yeah, yeah, leave me alone. <sighs> Want some water? Thanks. <sighs> that hits the spot. <sighs> God, I love doing this with you. <laughs> no, I'm serious. There is no one I would rather see the world with than you. I know how you feel. We've seen some pretty cool places together. Mm-hmm. And we are going to see tons more places in the future. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Sorry. You two were just being so nauseating. Why don't you dunk your head in the lake? Might make you feel better. Uh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Why not? I, you know, brain-eating parasites. What? Jackson! What? It's true. Some lakes aren't safe to swim in, and I didn't look into whether this one was uh, parasite-free or not. I'm never going swimming again. It's fine. The water looks clear. Besides, you'd think there would be signs up to stop people from going in if it wasn't safe. Except we technically aren't supposed to be here. Fair point. Hmm. This lake just got a little less romantic. How did you two end up doing this whole urban exploration thing anyways? Hmm? Oh, uh, it was our first year of university. Halloween, to be exact. Oh, right, Halloween. A bunch of people were throwing a party at an abandoned amusement park, and the two of us ended up going. But not together. No, we actually didn't know each other yet. Uh, we met at the party. I didn't really know anyone, just the one friend I went with. And parties? <laughs> well, they aren't really my scene... So I ended up taking photos of the amusement park instead. I saw him taking photos and was curious, so I asked what he was doing. 
And we ended up exploring the amusement park all night. Like watching the sunrise and everything? Uh, <laughs> we might have climbed the Ferris wheel to watch the sunrise. Oh, really? I don't think Mom would be too happy to hear about that. And she won't hear about it, right? <laughs> we'll see. So, you two lovebirds ended up watching the sunrise and decided that urban exploration was just your thing. Not quite. We actually didn't exchange numbers or anything. We realized how late it was and parted ways. How'd you two end up together then? The following Halloween, we both ended up on the same ghost tour. Ghost tour? It was this silly tour through the old sewer tunnels. The city was built on top of what essentially was another city. <sighs> no ghosts, though. Obviously. Uh, what do you mean, obviously? Uh, obviously because ghosts aren't real. You don't believe in ghosts? Do you? Of course. There's been too many sightings and videos of unexplainable occurrences. Oh, everything is explainable, Jackson. Not to mention, it's super easy to fake things nowadays. You know, that's fair. But, I don't know. I think it's possible that there are spirits all around us. I never realized you were so superstitious. And I never knew you were so skeptical. <sighs> all right. My feet have stopped throbbing. Let's get moving. The quicker we get to this power station, the quicker we can head home. Astrid has a point. We're burning daylight. Yeah. I'd rather not spend the night out here. Why? Because of the grizzly bears, kid. Gr Grizzlies? Stop scaring her, Jackson. What? She asked me a question. I'd rather see a ghost than a grizzly. Are we lost? Nope. I know exactly where we are. Then how much longer is this road? It feels like we've been walking forever. We should be reaching the main entrance soon. Oh, I think I see it. Really? Yeah, look. There's a gate. Uh, why is it closed? And why are there a bunch of no trespassing signs all over it? They are meant for cars. Lots of people do this hike. Christy. Don't worry. The old signs. It's perfectly legal. Why do I not believe you? Honest. There's been tons of people up here recently, and no one's gotten into any sort of trouble. Well, you can always stay here, Astrid. Keep an eye out for bears. I'm coming. <laughs> What? Are you having fun yet? I don't know if I'd use the word fun. I saw that smile you had on your face. I was just... Okay, fine. I'll admit that it's sort of cool here. It's so quiet. Kind of feels like we are the only ones left in the whole world. Now you're starting to get it! And when you see the abandoned building, oh, it is just so surreal! Are there other places around here like this? Mm, not many, no. Uh, there's a few places closer to home, though, if you're interested in doing some more exploring. Mm, maybe. Let's see how I feel once we get to this power station. We must be getting close. Yeah, uh, we just got to go down this hill, then a little bit west. We should reach the cliffside after that. Cliffside? Yeah, power station's built on the cliff over the lake. It's a hydro station, remember? They needed access to water. Oh, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I just realized we are going to have to climb back up this hill. Don't worry, we'll rest up at the powerhouse, regain our energy. And have a snack? I'm so hungry. <laughs> yes, we can have some snacks. Look at that! Is that a car? Well, shit. It is. Looks like an old pickup. Nice find, Astrid. It's so covered by the ferns that I probably wouldn't have noticed it. Can I get a pick? For sure. Go ahead. This is pretty cool. How long do you think this thing has been here? Hmm, 
Uh, what do you think, Jackson? 15, 20 years? Uh, hmm. I don't know how long it's been abandoned, but uh, judging from the design, I'd say this truck is from the 70s, maybe the 80s. Really? That old? Well, I mean, the powerhouse was closed down in the late 60s, so it sort of makes sense. Think it was an employee's car? Maybe. But why would they just leave it here? Ooh, maybe a bear got them. Jackson, not funny. Ah, uh, <laughs> sorry about that. Well, let's keep moving. If we want to rest and explore the powerhouse, we need to get going. One more pick. <sighs> Quickly. Sis, Jackson, get in here. Hmm? I want a photo of the three of us together. Uh, for sure. Let me take the photo. I've got longer arms. Here, take it on my phone. Sure. All right. That turned out okay? Yeah, it's perfect. <sighs> we finally made it. Hey, this is pretty damn nice. Nice? It's creepy. You know, that's part of the appeal. <sighs> the windows are all boarded up. Hmm, you're right. What does that mean? Well, normally there's a way to get inside. Uh, the website did say we could enter the building, right? Uh, yeah, there was definitely at least one person that posted about being able to go inside. Hmm, let's take a look around. Maybe there's a window on the other side of the building. Yeah, maybe. Hey sis, check out this board! Hmm? What's up? Looks like someone wrote a message. Nightmare inside? What do you think that means? I'm not sure. Maybe it's unsafe inside? The floorboards may have rotted. Why wouldn't they just write not safe? It's probably people just trying to scare others away. Bet they throw a lot of parties here. You think that's all it is? Definitely. Hmm. Hey, why don't you two go sit down and have some of those snacks? I'll try and find a way in and then join you. Oh, sure. Sounds like a good idea. We can go sit on that little rock ledge over there. Yeah, okay. Protein bar? Thanks. Ugh, this is disgusting. <laughs> Too cardboardy for you? Tastes like those really gross cheap chocolates Grandma used to buy us, only much, much, much staler. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. <laughs> Didn't you bring anything better? I have some crackers and dried fruit, but I was saving those for the car ride back. Nuh-uh. We are stopping at a drive through on the way home. Hand me the good stuff. Finish the power bar first. No sense in wasting it. You can have it. <laughs> After you've taken a bite out of it, no way. Okay, fine. Then at least hand me some water. Sure. <sighs> so, what if I have to go to the bathroom? There's some bushes over there. You're kidding. Or you can wait and see if there's some place to go in the powerhouse, but the woods will probably be cleaner. Blech. Gross. Bathroom aside, what do you think? Neat. Huh? Yeah, it's cool. But? But... I don't know. Doesn't it kind of feel... evil? Evil? It's just an abandoned building, Astrid. Yeah, it looks a little creepy since it's boarded up and the grime is a little off-putting, but it's just a building. Yeah, you're probably right. Hey! I found a way in! Hello? Is someone there? Huh? What the... Who was that? Hello? Help! Please! Help me! I... I fell! Oh, shit. Astrid, stay here. No way. Okay, but just stay behind me. Are you okay down there? My leg! It's tangled in the vines! I can't get up! Hang on! We'll get you out of there. Jackson, but wait. How are we supposed to get down there? It's at least a 20-foot drop. The cliff doesn't look too steep, and there's lots of rocks. I can climb down. What? Absolutely not! We can't just leave him there. You have some rope, right? Yeah, but I don't think it's long enough. 
It, it can probably get me at least halfway down. But... Come on, Chris. Who knows how badly he's hurt? Just don't get yourself hurt, okay? Hey, we've climbed worse. <laughs> True. I've got this. Rope? Here. Thanks. Okay. That should hold. But Astrid, I need you to keep an eye on the knot. Make sure it stays secured around the gate. You got it. Hey, buddy. I'm coming down. Wait. Mm. Love you. Love you too. Be careful. Okay. Slow. Thank you. Thank you for helping. Uh, yeah, no, no problem. Jackson. I'm okay. I'm okay. Okay. I'm untying the rope. Be careful! Thank God. I thought I was going to die out here. How long have you been down here? A couple of days. Shit. Okay. I'll get you out of there. Just hold on. There's too many vines. I couldn't untangle myself. Good thing I have a knife. I... What happened anyway? I was with my friends. They, uh, they went inside that building, but I didn't want to. I was waiting outside. But then I heard a noise. I tried looking inside and something, something charged at me. It startled me and, and I fell. And your friends? I don't know. I haven't seen or heard anyone until you and your group arrived. That's odd. Uh, did you see any signs of them? Not yet, but we did just arrive. Uh, yeah, all good. Mm, thank you. Think you can stand? <clears throat> Maybe. <sighs> uh, whoa, easy there. My leg. Shit, it hurts. We have food and water you can have. But we need to figure out how to get you back up to the top of the cliff. You think you can climb? <sighs> I don't know. Maybe once I stretch out my leg muscles a little more. We could try to go through the powerhouse. Uh, if we hop over to that rock... No! Over... No, please. Uh, let me rest a moment. Yeah, sure. Do you need me to come down there? No, it's it's okay. Just need a moment. Can you toss down a water and protein bar? Uh, yeah, uh, one sec. Thank you. Here, some water. Oh, thank you. <sighs> <sighs> I'm Jackson, by the way. Damien. That's Christy up there and Astrid's behind her. So, uh, you came to explore the power station too? Yeah. Christy and I love hiking to places like this. Well, I'm glad you came. I'd probably be dead without you coming here, so... You didn't bring a phone? I had one, but it was in my pocket when I fell, and when I came to, it was gone. It's probably at the bottom of the lake. Here, some food. Thanks, again. Jackson? Christy? You coming back up? Uh, soon. How are you feeling, bud? Think you can try climbing now? <sighs> I can try. Ah! Shit. Okay, uh, let's hit you down. Easy, easy. <sighs> I'm sorry. Hey, no. Nothing to be sorry about, man. What do we do now? I, uh, I don't think I can walk. Yeah. Hey, Christy, Astrid, I'm gonna need you both to come down here. What? Why? We're gonna have to drag Damien up through the powerhouse. There should be stairs to the upper level. Can we even get into the station from down there? Uh, yeah, there's a window we can climb through. Okay, we're coming down. There must be another way. Unless your leg heals itself, we don't have another choice. But you didn't hear what I heard. What did you hear? Something evil. The noise was like nothing I'd ever heard before. It was like something out of my darkest nightmare. I cannot thank you all enough. Don't mention it. I'm just glad we made it to you in time. It was pretty reckless coming out here without telling anyone. 
We didn't tell anyone either. Shh! I was with five of my friends. I didn't think anything like this would happen. The directions on the website were pretty straightforward, and we figured the worst that could happen is that we might cross paths with a bear. Do you think that might have been what charged at you? Or what that sound was? A bear? I don't know, maybe? Are we safe here? Of course. The bear, if it was a bear, is trapped inside the powerhouse. And if there are any other bears around, they won't come all the way down the cliff. Actually... Ah! Oh, sorry. Did I tie that bandage too tight? Yes. My bad. Let me loosen it. So we potentially have a grizzly inside. Right. Maybe we should call someone. Get some professional help? Uh, so uh, about that... Jackson. I may have lied about the legality of hiking out here. What? You can kayak here, but the route we took was illegal. They could arrest us for trespassing. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Why don't we just say we all kayaked here? Right, and Damien here just got injured because... What? He, he tripped? Not to mention we don't have any kayaks. <sighs> okay, but we can't go in there if there's a grizzly. I mean, it, it's a big place. We could make sure we move quickly and quietly and head directly for the stairs. Do you have a floor plan for the building? Because I have no idea where the stairs are. I uh, hate to ask, but we've been here for an hour already. Are we going to be able to make it back to the car before nightfall? <sighs> With Damien in his current condition? No, probably not. So what do we do? We can't stay out here all night. But we can't go inside the station. Well, maybe we could? Hear me out. I can jump over to the rocks there to get a good look at the station. There's windows I can look through, scope things out, and if we can find a room that we can barricade ourselves in, then we can spend the night and hopefully find a way out in the morning. That's not the worst plan. I'm sorry for all the trouble I'm causing. <sighs> it's not your fault. So, we're... We're spending the night in here. Well, if we aren't going to call for help, I don't see any other option. It will be fine. We don't even know if it was a grizzly. It could have even been a... I don't know. A rabid raccoon? It wasn't a raccoon! My point still stands. It could be something completely harmless. Maybe, but let's not let our guard down. Okay, I'll go take a look through the windows. See if I can find us a good spot to set up camp. There. All wounds are cleaned and bandaged. Feel a little better? Much better, thanks. Honestly, the water alone made me feel a hundred times better. I'm glad. We will have to ration the rest of the water, though. I packed enough to last us until tomorrow, but we still need to make it back to the car. And if your friends are still alive in there, they will probably need some water, too. I... I don't think they are. I haven't heard anything for a while now, and they wouldn't have just left me behind. They could be hiding. Maybe. Yeah, I hope so. I really hope so. That noise you heard, what did it sound like? It's hard to describe. It was almost more of a feeling than a sound. It pierced its way into my heart and turned it cold. It was probably just the surprise of the noise that made it seem scarier than it actually was. My mind didn't embellish the sound. It didn't have to. Hey, uh, Astrid, can you go check on Jackson? I'm sure he's fine. Just go? Uh, fine. Listen, Damien, I'd appreciate it if you could lay off this whole scary noise thing. My sister is only 17, and this is her first time coming out to a place like this. It would be fantastic if we could make her feel as safe as possible in a situation like this. Ah, uh, yes, of course. I'm sorry, I didn't think about that. However, I believe there is something inside that powerhouse, and it's not a bear. Then what? I saw the thing that charged me, just for a moment. It emerged out of the shadows, and I could have sworn it was... It was what? This is going to sound insane. What did you see? I think it was a horse. A horse? Yes, but it was dead. Or at least I think it was. And... fire? The horse was... on fire. 
I know how it sounds, but that's what I saw. Uh, let me check your head. What? I think you must have hit it when you fell. You must believe me. There's something evil in that place. And it killed my friends. Uh, my uh, sister said the same thing. But she believed the building was evil. See? It can't be a coincidence. I'm going to tell you the same thing I told her. It's just a building. And whatever you saw, it wasn't dead or on fire. There's nothing evil about this place or the poor creature that's probably scared because it's trapped inside. I won't go in there. It felt off to me when I arrived with my friends. And it feels even worse now. You can't just stay out here. I managed to survive last night. <laughs> yeah, but do you see those dark clouds in the distance? It's going to rain. You'll freeze. <laughs> Jackson is coming back. Remember, no scaring my sister. Got it. <laughs> well? Yeah, I think I saw a small room near one of the windows. I think it could work. Damien, thoughts? I'll spend the night here. Uh, huh? Why? Because of the bear? Oh, I didn't see any signs of it. What about your friends? Don't you want to know if they're okay? I... Uh, you're right. I need to find out what happened to them. Right. Think you can manage to jump those rocks, Damien? I may need some help. I'll help Damien from this side, and Christy, you can grab him from the other side. Okay. <laughs> okay, Damien. You ready? <laughs> no, but let's get this over with. Okay, bud. I know your leg hurts, but you're going to have to try to launch yourself as best as you can so Christy can catch you. <sighs> this is a ridiculous plan. On three, one, two, three. It's okay. I got you. Uh, let's not do that again. Here, uh, lean against the building for a sec. Coming over. Show off. <laughs> so, how do we get in? The far window. It's not barricaded or locked. All right, come on, bud. Lean on me. I hope my leg is better by tomorrow. Otherwise, it'll take hours to get to your car. Maybe Jackson can give you a piggyback. Hey, if that's what it takes to get us all home safely, I'll do it. I've got no issue with that. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. This window? Yep, that's the one. Yeah, looks okay in there. Someone was definitely partying here at some point. <laughs> Empty bottles everywhere. No bear? No bear. Good. Jackson, give me a boost. Sure. <sighs> oh! <sighs> Are you all good in there, Chris? Yep. Astrid, you next. Here, I'll give you a boost too. Okay. <clears throat> Damien? <clears throat> okay, slow drop down. Easy does it. <clears throat> <clears throat> Whoa, it's amazing. Look at all this stuff. Huh, looks like they left everything behind. Can we take stuff? No, uh, uh. Rule number one about urban exploring. You leave the place exactly how you found it. We have to respect the history that we are here to see. We take photos, not things. Right. Makes sense. As much as I'd like to take a look around, we should get to that room and settle in for the night. Uh, yeah. It's just over that way. This must have been an office. I'd say so. Now, let's see if this door will close. <laughs> oh! Think it'll stay closed, or should we barricade it? Probably best to barricade it, but I'm gonna go out there. What? I'm going to look around and see if I can figure out what's in here. I'm also going to try and find Damien's friends. You shouldn't go out there alone. Okay, you want to come with? I know I should since they are my friends, but my leg. Hey, no sweat. You rest that leg. This is a terrible idea. Look, I've got the bear mace and my knife. If things really get dicey, I'll hurry back here. And while I look, I can also figure out a route out of here for tomorrow. I'm going with you. You can't! 
Astrid, sweetie, it's okay. There's nothing to be afraid of. Right. That's why you want to barricade the door. I know this isn't an ideal situation, but you're perfectly safe here. And Jackson and I will be fine too. We'll be back soon. Make sure you push one of those desks against the door and be ready to move it when we get back. Are you sure? Yeah. Let's go before I change my mind. Okay. We'll be back soon. There's food and water in that backpack there. And if you get cold, there should be a blanket in that bag. Stay safe. You too. Uh, can you please stop pacing? I can't help it. They've been gone so long. Pacing won't make them come back any sooner. Come sit down. Uh, how's your leg feeling? <sighs> Still sore. Might be fractured. How do you know? I, uh, fractured my arm once. Feels sort of the same as that. I see. Are you sleeping? Hmm? Uh, trying to. How can you sleep in this place? Well, my thought process is this. If I sleep through the night, it will feel like I will be out of this place sooner. Are you worried about your friends? And what about Christy and Jackson? They could be dying as we speak. Of course I'm worried. And I know what it is you're feeling right now. No, you don't. I do. Right about now, you're thinking you're going to move that desk and go out there to look for them. I wanted to do the same when my friends went inside without me. After I heard that noise, I was going to go inside to find them. But when I got to the window... The bear? Uh, um, yeah, the bear. <sighs> I spent the past two days wishing I had gone into that station with my friends. Wishing that I could untangle my legs and go look for them. But there was also a part of me that was terrified. It's still terrified. If I find them and they are dead... And there's no part of me that can pretend they somehow managed to get away. I'm sorry, Damien. I hope Christy and Jackson find them. Alive and well. <laughs> yeah. And then we can all get the hell out of here. <laughs> yes, please. I think my future in Herb Hex is over. <laughs> I can assure you it's not normally like this. So I've been told. <sighs> Tired? Yeah, I normally lounge in bed on the weekends, so this hiking all day thing has been pretty draining. And having to sleep in a terrifying, probably haunted building on top of that, and I'm exhausted. Well, we seem pretty safe in here. Why don't you get some rest? I'll keep an ear out for Christy and Jackson. I doubt I'll be able to sleep. They will be okay. Yeah. So, Damien, where are you from? Here. Uh, uh, Portheim. I mean, not here, here. You mean you don't live in an abandoned power station? Nope. Just a boring old fishing city. But Portheim has had its own share of bizarre stories lately. Really? Yeah. I never used to believe in the supernatural, but after this year, it's a little hard not to. Christy thinks it's all fake, but Jackson believes in that kind of stuff. What about you? Me? I... I guess I think it's possible. <laughs> Two. Do, do you think that was Christy and Jackson? <laughs> shit, shit, shit! It's okay! The barricade will hold! I think it's gone. Was it the bear? I don't know. What if it was Christy or Jackson? I don't think it was. Should we check? No! It could still be out there! But my sister and Jackson are out there! We need to warn them! Christy told you to stay here, where it is safe! I can't just sit here! What if they are on their way back now? What are you doing?! I'm going to take a look and see if the bear is still out there. Damn it, Astrid! Don't go out there! Try and stop me. What do you see? Nothing. There's nothing there. 
Then get back in here and close the door! No. I'm going to go find Christy. D -d Damien! What is it? A bear! What? There's a bear behind you! That's a boss bear! Damien! Damien! I'm sorry! <laughs> Time to cry, Astrid. I gotta find Christy. C Christy? Jackson? Where are they? Stairs. He probably went up to find a way to get back up the cliff. Astrid? Christy? Christy? Christy! Hey, hey, it's okay. I've got you. Where's Damien? And why are you out here when I told you to stay in the office? He's... There was a bear. I don't know how it got in. Maybe it was in there the whole time. Hey, I... slow down. What happened? Damien is dead! What? Where... Where is Jackson? We got separated. I I've been trying to find him. I'm staying with you, okay? Yeah. We'll stick together. Now, let's go find Jackson. We've looked everywhere. He's gone. No, he has to be here somewhere. Maybe there's a room that we missed. Maybe he went back to the office downstairs? But the bear! It's the only place we haven't checked. We can't go in there. Besides, the moment Jackson opened that door, he would have slammed it shut. He must be somewhere else. All right, we will keep looking. How about that door over there? Okay. Ugh. What's that smell? Oh my god! Are these... Are they... Don't look, Astrid. They're Damien's friends, aren't they? I think so. They're all... dead? Well, their insides are on the outside, so, yeah, I'd say they're dead. Christy, I want to go. Now. Let's get out of here and go home. We, we can't. We have to find Jackson first. We have to call someone. We need help. Yeah, okay. No service. What if we go back to the road and then come back with help to find Jackson? No, it might be too late if we do that. It might already be too late, please! Christy, let's just go before something happens! Oh! Astrid! Run! Christy! Oh! 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 Christy! No, no, come back! Don't leave me here! Christy? Christy, where are you? Answer me! You can't leave me! I... I don't want to be all alone again! Astrid? Jackson? Jackson! S something Something got Christy! Hey, whoa! Calm down. We have to go find her! We have to get you out of this place. Come on. Wait, what? I found a window we can climb out of. But Christy! What about her? We can't just... Leave her behind! Sure we can. What are you even saying right now? I know you like me, Astrid. Huh? I see the way you look at me. And I notice you every time you watch my streams. You want to be with me the way Christy is. Admit it. I... I don't have time for this. We have to go help Christy! She's already dead. What? Don't you see? With her out of the way, we can be together. What are you talking about? I got it her. With this knife. Jackson? That isn't funny. I'm not joking. I did it for you. For us. No. Oh. You're lying. Christy! She won't answer. Stay away from me! Come on, Astrid. Don't be like that. You can finally have me. 
You're welcome. Now come here. Let go of me! Don't fight this. You've wanted it for so long. No, I never wanted this! Please. You dream about me. You dream about my touch. The taste of my lips. Just relax and let this happen. No! <laughs> oh, oh. You little bitch! Maybe I should just kill you like I did your sister. No. Stop. Ah, don't worry, you'll make it quick. <laughs> you... You stabbed me. I'm sorry. You... <laughs> We fell asleep. I had a really bad dream. Me too. When I woke up, there was this thing on you. Thing? It looked kind of like a woman, but demonic. And I think she was doing something to you. There was this strange light coming out of your mouth while you were asleep. Light? I think she was devouring whatever the light was. I think I know what it was. You do? Yeah, a mare. Mare? Yeah, sometimes called a Mara or Mar. It's a creature that essentially traps you in a nightmare while it drains your life away. So it was sucking out your life? I can't believe they're real. But that would explain the noise I heard. And the horse. Horse? Yeah. Mares are often said to ride horses to get around. Christy and Jackson! They think they're avoiding a bear. What if they fall asleep? Calm down. They won't sleep out there. Especially when they think a grizzly is roaming about. We have to go find them. I agree. Can you walk? My leg is still a little sore. Uh, but maybe if we built a splint? Or if I had something to lean against? Uh, like a crutch? What about that broken desk leg? That would help. We can use part of the blanket to tie it around your leg? Sounds like a plan. Hey Astrid, how did you end up breaking free of the mirror spell? How did you wake up? Yes, my mind knew that it was a nightmare. How? Because there was no way it could have been real. What did you dream about? Uh, the bear, it killed you, and then my sister was taken from me, and... And... Uh, uh, sounds horrible. It was. How does that feel? <laughs> Better. Damien? Yeah? When you read about this mare creature, did it tell you how to kill it? I don't think so. Or if it did, I don't remember how. Well, we are going to have to figure out how to kill it. Because that thing needs to pay for the nightmare it inflicted upon me. Astrid. Let's move. Gosh, I look terrible. You look beautiful. It's probably just the mirror. They're all covered in a foot of grime. <laughs> If it's just the mirror, then why do you look handsome as ever? Come stand over here. See? You're gorgeous. It was just that one stinky, dirty mirror over there. <laughs> I'm still covered in dirt and sweat in this mirror. What? 
Don't like nature's makeup? <laughs> what? Nature's makeup. You know, like natural foundation powder and perfume? No? Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a lame joke. But I'll give you a pass since today has been a little strange. Do you think we can trust Damien? What do you mean? Well, we haven't found any of his friends or any signs that anything is in here. There's certainly no bear. Ah, uh, about that, he told me he didn't think it was a bear. Huh? What was it then? He claims to have seen a dead horse that was moving about, and it may have been on fire. <laughs> what? I know! I feel like a fool for even repeating his story. An undead horse on fire. Yeah, that's, that's a new one. Honestly, I think his friends pranked him. Pranked him? Yeah, they probably knew he wouldn't go into the power station and set up some sort of prank. The joke goes wrong, Damien falls, they think he's dead, and they book it, not wanting to be charged with manslaughter. I mean, maybe. I, I guess that could have happened. It makes more sense than a zombie horse. Y yeah, it does. <sighs> and here I was hoping we'd actually get to see a ghost. <laughs> You're cute. Oh, I know. Hmm, Jackson. What? Mm, this is hardly the time or place for that. <laughs> I can't help it. You're irresistible. Stop. We we've already been gone a long time. Astrid is probably starting to get worried. <sighs> All right, fine. We've pretty much checked over this entire place and there's no bear. Time to head back to the others? Yeah, I think so. <sighs> huh? D did you see that? See what? A shadow. There. I don't see anything. I, I swear, I, I saw something. Are you humoring me? Huh? I'm sure there's no ghost, and you suddenly see something? I'm not joking, Jackson. I saw something. You were starting to sound like Damien. <laughs> what was that? I told you I saw something. Y yeah, but I, I still can't see anything. Where is it? I, I don't know. I, I don't see it anymore. Maybe we should go. Um, yeah. What the hell is that thing? That's definitely not a bear. No kidding! What do we do? Th that thing is blocking the door. Um, we... Uh, tr try to get to the window? Make a break for it. I'm not leaving Astrid. We aren't leaving her. We just need to get away from that monster and then we can hop back in through another window. But... <laughs> Shit. It, it, it won't open. Jackson, it's getting closer. Stay close to me. It's circling us like a shark. Yeah, let's make it circle to the back of the room so we can get the hell out. <sighs> I think it understands us. Yeah. Get down! <laughs> it's... Gone? Why? Who cares? Let's get back to Astrid. Now! I'm sorry. Stop saying that. I already told you it's not your fault. If you didn't have to help support me, you probably would have found your sister by now. Maybe, but I'm not just gonna abandon you. Thank if you- If you thank me one more time, I will leave you behind. <laughs> right. Think you can make it up the stairs? Uh, yeah, I think so. Christy's probably up there. After you. Hey, do you hear that? I think it understands us. Yeah. Christy? Get down. It's that mare thing! Where did it go? It rushed into that room over there! Come on! You go! I'll catch up! Want me to help you? No, just go find your sister! I'll come right back for you. Astrid? Christy! You're okay! Oh, I was so worried. I was going to say the same about you. What are you doing out here? I told you to stay in the office. We did, but we needed to warn you. About the scary naked demon lady thing? You saw it? Yeah, and before it comes back, we should go. Jackson, Damien might need some help getting up the stairs. On it. Are you all right? That thing didn't hurt you, did it? I'm... I'm okay. Also, it's a mare. A mare? L like a horse? A mare, as in a nightmare. 
Depending on which lore you believe, it's a spirit or a demon that mainly attacks while you're asleep. It traps you in a nightmare world and sucks out your life force or energy. It's... lovely. But it attacked Jackson and I while we were still awake. Maybe it can induce sleep. Like with a venom or something. How do you know all this stuff? I'm a little bit of a supernaturalist. Come on, let's continue this conversation somewhere a little less exposed. I saw it go in that room in the far left corner. Great. It was our way out of here. Let's try this room. We didn't go in here when we were checking things out. Maybe there's a way out in there too. Yeah, good thinking. Oh, what's that smell? Give me the flashlight. What is that? It's Sherry. Sherry? What's left of her anyways? One of your friends? Yeah. What's wrong with her? She almost looks like a mummy. She's a husk. A husk? Uh, it's... Uh... You know what? Never mind. I'll explain once we're out of here. I know what a husk is, Christy. I just don't understand how Damien's friend ended up as one. The mare. She sucked Sherry dry. Are you alright, mate? Not really, no. But I knew. When they didn't come looking for me, I knew they were dead. I'm sorry, Damien. Let's just focus on getting out of here. There's more husks. There's so many. It's been killing for years. There's a window over there. Stay here. I'll go check it out. Hey, Astrid? Hmm? You said you needed to warn us about the mare. How did you know it was here? It had Damien and- What? Are you okay? Yeah, Christy, I'm fine. Astrid, why didn't you tell me sooner? You could have died! Yeah, but I didn't. Astrid, I'm so sorry. I would never have brought you along if I knew it was going to happen. Well, I'm glad you brought her. She managed to pull herself out of the nightmare and chase the mare off. Astrid saved me. If she wasn't here, I might have ended up nothing more than a husk myself. Listen, I'm fine, really. <sighs> yeah, I'm scared, and part of me does wish I was back at home. A big, big part of me. But I'm also glad I could be here to help you and Jackson. <laughs> Damien. Astrid. Window won't budge. Must be sealed from the outside. <sighs> great, great. So the only way out is through the one room that the mayor is in. You two said you saw it? Yeah, in the bathroom. Just before we met up. How did you get away? I don't really know. It had us pressed up against the sinks when it lunged at us. We ducked down and then it suddenly screamed and ran away. Ran away? Yeah, almost like it was scared of something. What could have frightened it? Um... The mirrors. Mirrors? Yeah, it would have seen the mirrors when we ducked. That sort of makes sense. A lot of supernatural creatures don't like mirrors, mainly because they used to be lined with silver. That's why vampires don't have a reflection. I did a lot of reading when I was a kid. Okay, so this thing doesn't like mirrors. <laughs> Time to arm ourselves and get the fuck out of here. Check it out. The downstairs bathroom had these awesome floor-length mirrors. How did you get them off the wall? It may have involved a knife and a crowbar. Where did you find a crowbar? You can find anything if you look hard enough. I don't think that's necessarily true. The gal's not back yet. Not yet, but I also haven't heard any screaming. Um, maybe I should go look for them. Look for who? You're back. <laughs> yep, and we found mirrors. Looks like you found some floor-length ones too. Yeah, downstairs bathroom. You? One in what must have been a kitchen or break room, and one in an office. Nice. I guess we're all set then. What was that? It's the horse. It won't attack, right? I have no idea. Maybe one of us should go check. No, we stick together and follow through with the plan. Right. Everyone got their mirrors ready? Yep. Ready. As ready as I can be. Then let's do this. You almost sound like you're enjoying this. It's a mirror shield, Christy. Do you know how cool this is? It's like straight out of Lucianus. Oh my god, I was just thinking that. Right? I always sort of rolled my eyes when I had to use the shield. I mean, how practical is a mirror shield? 
Sure, it's heavy as hell, and not nearly as glamorous, but here we are. You two are ridiculous. I, sorry. You know, it's just, it's just kind of cool. Facing a demon that could kill us is cool? No, that part isn't so cool, but... Uh, you know what? Never mind. Don't worry, I understand you, Jackson. Oh, okay, let's go try to sneak past a demon. Okay, yep, yeah, that's, that's definitely an undead horse. I told you I saw one. What is it doing? Let's wait for it to go into a room. Make a break for it. Think you can manage that, Damien? I can certainly try. If I... If I fall behind, just go. What? Absolutely not! I told you that I won't abandon you, especially when we are this close. That's right. We're a team now. We're all going to make it out of here alive. I don't know how I'm ever going to repay you for this. If we all make it. When, not if. Right. When we make it back to the car. Breakfast is on you, okay? <laughs> yeah, I think I can manage that. Okay, it's headed into the room where we found Sherry. Get ready. Now. <laughs> I got you, bud. <sighs> Thanks! It's coming! Move, move, move! <laughs> Astrid, hurry! That's it! They aren't going to make it! Jackson, behind you! Come on, almost there. Hurry! That, that was close. You made it! Lost my knife, though. Um... Guys? Samuel! Damien, wait! He's gone! Take another look! David! We can't let this thing keep killing people who come here. We don't know how to kill it, though. No, but we know it doesn't like mirrors, right? Well, not for sure, but yeah. So, we've got four mirrors, and we trap it. Shit, we trap it! That's brilliant! I don't understand. We come at it from all sides with the mirrors facing out. We form a box, trap it inside. Will that work? I don't know. Maybe? It's worth a try, right? No other plan and it's coming, so let's give it a shot. Okay, start moving in. Uh, I think it's working. That's it. It's starting to panic. Keep closing in. Now what? If we let go of the mirrors, they'll fall back and the mayor will be able to get out. Lean the mirrors together, so they lean against one another at the top. Okay. You still have that rope? Yeah, it's in my pack. We can tie it around the mirrors, secure it a little more. Yeah, good idea. Astrid, can you hold my mirror for a sec? Yeah. <sighs> okay, it's secure. <laughs> we, we did it. Think this will be enough to keep it from killing again? It's the best we can do. Let's get to the car. We can always come back with people who know how to handle these sorts of things. Right. Okay, let's go. How are you holding up? I feel like my leg is in a giant knot, but other than that, I just can't wait to get to the car. We don't have too much further to go. The bridge should be just around those trees. I just can't believe we managed to get out of there. No one is going to believe this. We didn't even get a photo. Hey, it's not too late to go back. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I'll pass. What are you going to do about your friends, Damien? I'm not sure. Obviously, I want to give them a proper burial, but how do we even go about reporting something like this? We'll have to find a couple reporter who believes in ghosts. Oh, because that's an easy thing to figure out. <clears throat> Excuse me, officer. What would you say if I told you a naked demon lady killed a bunch of people in an abandoned power station? Well, little lady, I would say you've got quite the imagination. Astrid, look out! Ah. Ah. Jackson! Hang on, I've got you. <laughs> I found the bridge. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you did. 
I'm gonna pull you up now. Okay. Hold on, Astrid! Jackson! I'm... I'm slipping! Hold on to me. I... I can't! Astrid! Jackson! Astrid! Right. Why am I back at the power station? D Damien? No. no. Damien! Fuck, fuck, fuck! Christy? Jackson? Hello? Is anyone there? Christy? Jackson? Christy? Where are you? Why was I the only one the mayor didn't kill? What do I do now? What? What do I tell mom? The lake. Maybe I can get cell service. Shit. Nothing. Maybe closer to the water. Oh. Hello? <laughs> Are you okay? It's all right. You're safe now. My... my sister... she's... this demon... a mare! I killed my sister and my friends, I... Um, mare? Please, you have to believe me. You poor dear. That sounds like you've been through quite the ordeal. Why don't I take you home? No, uh, thank you. But my sister's car isn't... Too far away. I... I can make it on my own. Are you sure? Yes, but... Thank you. Uh, Alright then. Good luck. Yeah. Uh, thanks. Why don't you stop dragging this out, Mara, and just finish off the girl already? My apologies, Master. But the girl is no longer within my physical reach. What do you mean? My sister, she has taken the girl outside of the power station. I cannot finish her off, but it is unlikely she will ever wake from this nightmare world. In fact, her mind is already preparing a new scenario for the loop. Well, this didn't go as planned, but I suppose it will have to do. I will not fail you again, Master. No. It is time for you to move on. Make sure you clean up the mess you have created. Of course, Master. But when he woke, the caravan was empty. There was no sign of the princess anywhere. Jared started running. He needed to find help. Find someone that could bring his princess back home. Huh. Uh, why don't we stop there for today? <laughs> The story is hitting a little too close to home. How is she today? 
No changes. <sighs> I'm sorry, Chris. We've just got to keep waiting, right? I mean, eventually. Eventually, she will wake up. Yeah. I, uh, got a text from Damien. Did they find the mare? No. The power station was empty. No sign of the mare and no sign of Damien's friends. Place is deserted. Jackson, what are we going to do? What if... what if Astrid never, um... Don't. Don't say that. She will wake up. We, we can't give up hope, all right? <sighs> right. Sorry. Good night, sis. I'll be back tomorrow. Sweet dreams. On Further Reflection was written by Jenna Oliver. Starring the voice talents of... Lauren Kong as Astrid Pierce. Jenna Rose as Christy Pierce. Max Adrian Burton as Jackson Briggs. Abhi Kumar as Damian Brody. Jenna Oliver as Mare and the Weaver. Wayward Dreamers was written, composed, and performed by Key Garland. Key Art by Arthur Akuda. Logos by Blind Deaf Ghost. A shadow love.